Hi, I'm John Craven with BevNet, and I'm here at the 2016 Summer Fancy Food Show in New York City. And we're at the Calafia Farms booth here with Greg Steltenpole. Thanks for joining me, Greg. Thanks, John. Good to be here. It's a great show already, and uh, we've got lots of good stuff to talk about. Yeah, so you've got a new product, which uh, we were talking while we were setting up here about how people don't really have like new product launches at the show so often, but you guys do. Tell us what you've got here. Well, it's New York, and... Um, New Yorkers love coffee, so we thought we'd show the Fancy Food Show East some love, and we launched one of the most exciting things I, you know, I've ever been a part of, and that's this new nitro cold brew, and um, we're premiering it at the show here. So this is the first launch. And this is something you guys have been working on for a while. It's not a, you know, sort of new thing. You just kind of came out with, as a, you know, La Colombe put out a draft latte. Right. You know, give us a little insight into that. Sure. Um, well, as you guys know, and and with my own personal history, I've I've been in love with cold brew for almost ten years now, and tried various ways of approaching it, and uh, it's doing great for Calafia's based coffee business. But um, we think that there's a lot of promise in actually how you combine these plant-based milks with coffee and then elevate the experience as opposed to you know try to just have it be almost as good so this is the first time I think it's all come together in one package at least for us so super excited to share it yeah and it's you know it's something you know not to give a kind of testimonial to your product here but <laughs> I, I mean it's impressive that it you wouldn't actually think that it's almond milk uh, or I guess it's an almond and macadamia milk blend but right. the texture of it really is you know very similar to dairy and is that have to do with the the nitrogen part of it or well it does and and we've been doing a lot of research as you know on the whole relationship between plant milks and coffee and it's a little different um, you know dairy milks even though it's traditional you are fighting a kind of acidic you know when, when you you get some of those dairy notes and then the acid from the coffee kind of fight each other a little bit and you get some sourness mm -hmm. on the back end and nut milks have tended to have problems in the mouth feel and just getting that creamy consistency so what we worked on with this product is the very small bubble structure in the nitrogen helps give you that complete creamy note like a, almost a milkshake right. uh, feel and it's the first time we've ever come across a non-dairy you know performance like that and I think it just takes it into something that really makes it even more complementary to the coffee itself. So. And, the, and the packaging of it, which is an aluminum bottle, is something that, uh, you know, is a new package format, obviously, for the... This category, yeah. Right. And I, I guess why go into that package as opposed to a, a can or something like that? Right. Well, um, you know, the, this, the whole segment of specialty coffee and, and RTD coffees, as you guys write about, and I think you were the first to really observe it, but th this is a phenomenon that there's so much creativity going on, and we were looking for ways that we could have an original approach to it. Um, I've always thought when the beer industry came up with this aluminum bottle, it was really unique, and from a recyclability standpoint, aluminum is, you know, top you know, it's the top item that's recycled, so it's got a lot of sustainability cred to it. Um, but, you know, we also wanted to get a product that was more female friendly, honestly. You know, it's tended to be a little bit like Broville on the <laughs> cold brew <Broville. laughs> side. So, um, you know, we just felt this was an approachable, you know, uh, thing. And our, our deal is, you know, if we can't disrupt a little bit then we don't want to be a me too thing so well i guess that's a good uh, lead into my next question which is just you know where this product's going to launch as well as you know who it's targeting um well i mean we're we're hoping to launch it everywhere uh you know i i just think it's a super crossover type product in the sense that for a coffee lover it's got you know, a lot of complexity, especially, for example, on our New Orleans. So in, in that product, for example, we're brewing uh, the chicory with the coffee. So you actually get a more complex chicory note, you know, something that's really fulsome. And I think the nuttiness of the almond milk combines and just the way it makes it a whole, whole different way to enjoy New Orleans style. So 
all of these things together just make, I think, coffee lovers and coffee snobs, you know, you're kind of hitting on them. But like this with less than half the calories, you know, someone that's been drinking a Starbucks Frappuccino, this is like a, you could go over to this and, and still feel fulfilled, you know, it's like a treat too. So Calafia, you've got, you know, a juice component, you've got a, you know, nut milk component. The coffee component, I think, is something that you announced, was it two years ago? Um, you know, what's sort of the future of, of coffee for, for Calafia? Well, Calafia takes coffee seriously, but I, I think in a little different way in that it, it's the coffee ecosystem that interests us, you mm -hmm. know, in its totality. And I think, you know, once our, our products showed, at least to, to our own organization, that they were being taken seriously by the marketplace. In other words, you know, the, for our, our 10.5 ounce line is the number one selling line in all of natural foods. Wow. Uh, so once we saw that, we said, well, we have to go all the way and be just as serious about coffee as, you know, a roaster is. So we're, we're looking at all the vertical integration components of that as a company. And, and Nitro was something that we got to market early. We've been thinking about it for a year, but um, we finally decided to make a commitment and build a whole separate facility to deal with this product in the right way. And I guess you said that was built pretty quickly too, right? I mean, there was nothing we visited in, uh, in March and there was, well, or maybe you just didn't show it to us or something. No, but. no, that's not even that's not true at all. <laughs> um, we love you guys, but you know the thing is, I, I, I have to give you I, you know some I mean, business right, here, right? Right, right. No, um, I got to give the shout out to our manufacturing team. I mean, because it really is amazing, and they deserve a lot of cred. This thing, we didn't make a decision until the end of January of this year to to go ahead and launch this product. So in five months, those guys down in Bakersfield, our team there, completely, not only did they build a new factory from the ground up, they had to take out the ground, take out some other stuff that was there, and build a full-on facility, start to finish, and then put this out last week. So that's less than five months. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty impressive when you, you know, factor in that you're doing your own manufacturing as opposed to just, you know, a co-packer. Day job. You right, know? right. So, the thing about Califi, I, I think you were going somewhere, and I, I, I don't want to avoid the question because I think, you know, number one, I, I'd love to have our team build a company that doesn't like fit into some little vertical for acquisition. I mean, you, I think you know that we're we're trying to build a platform and a brand that stands for something, and hopefully, you know, we can keep that independent spirit as long as we want. So we're hoping this product helps get us there. Nice. Well, I have a lot of follow-up questions, but they're probably ones you wouldn't answer anyway. So <laughs> I think we'll end it there. Thanks a lot, Greg. Uh, right. Good luck with the new product launch on the show. Thanks so much, man. Thanks for visiting. Thanks. Yeah.